Graphing Linear Equations, Part 5. In today's lesson, students will learn how to find zero and no slope. How to find what? Very good. So sometimes when you're given two points on a line, you get zero slope. What do you get? Zero slope. That's right. Zero slope gives you a horizontal line. What kind of a line? Very good. And if you pretend that you are walking, you walk on a horizontal line from left to right. Which way do you walk? From right? The same way that you read. So what I want you to notice about a line that has zero slope is that it goes through which axis does it go through, okay? It's not the same as the x-axis. It's not the same, even though the x-axis is also horizontal. But which axis does it intersect? What do you think? What do you think? Who said y? Very good. So it goes through the y-axis. And if it goes through the y-axis on one of the y-intercepts, and here, what is the intercept? Can you see it? It's, it's 2. We say that this line is y equals 2. Read it with me. Y equals 2. We're going to remember zero slope by making a Z with a line. So if you have a horizontal line like Zorro, you can make a Z for zero. This means you have zero slope. What do you have? Zero slope. Very good. Other times when you're given two points on a line, they give you no slope. What do they give you? No slope. So think about it. If you're trying to walk a line, but the line is up and down, what kind of a line is it? Up and down. You're trying to walk a vertical line. What's going to happen to this person? Okay? They're not going to survive. It's going to be very sad. They're going to fall off the line. So when you have no slope, okay, that means that the line is simply up and down. So here's what I want you to remember, is that when you have a vertical line that has no slope, which axis do you think it goes through? Which one does it intersect? Which axis? Okay, the x-axis, that's right. It goes through the x-axis, okay, at two. And that's why we call this line, when you look at the linear equation, the equation is x equals 2. What's the equation? x equals 2. Very good. So how will you remember no slope? Well, this can be the letter n, right? It's already up and down, and then you make the letter n for no slope. What kind of slope is this? Very good. Let's take a look at two points that we are given, okay, to find the slope. What are we trying to find? Slope. And slope is represented by the letter M. The letter what? M. Okay, so first let's plot these points. The first point is negative 3, 2. So on your number line, you have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, up 2. Which quadrant is this in? Which quadrant? Two, very good. So here's the point here over here. This is the first point. Now this is the first coordinate point. So remember, if you're labeling now, this is x1, y1. Let's look at the second point. It's four, positive four, positive two. So we start on which axis? We start on the x-axis. So you're at positive four, and you're gonna go up how many? You're gonna go up two, very good. So don't connect the points yet. This is your second point, so we're going to label it x2, y2. So the question is, is how do we find the slope of this line? Okay? Oh, who remembers the slope formula song? I do, I think. Okay, I think it goes. It goes slope, slope, change in y top, change in x bottom. One more time. Ready? Stand up, people. Let's get moving. I know you missed me yesterday. Okay, ready? Hector! 
Okay, ready? Slope, slope, change in Y top, change in X bottom. So the change means that you're going to subtract the Y coordinates and divide it by subtracting the X coordinates. So let's take a look. First, we have to look at the Y coordinates. What do you notice about Y1 and Y2? They're both what? They're both, they're both two. So if they're both two, here's what I'm saying. Do you think that Y could be two? Do you think it's possible? Yes, it is possible. So let's take a look. Look at the change in Y. Okay, it's gonna be Y2 is two and Y1 is also two. So look what happens to the top of your fraction. It becomes two minus two, okay? All right, let's go ahead and just do the bottom. Now we're gonna look at the X coordinates. You always start with the left. Start with the what? Left. It's gonna be four minus, and what is this? What is X one? It's negative three. So you need parentheses, very good. So you say minus three, okay? So at the top of this fraction, what does 2 take away 2? It's 0. When you have 0 at the top of a fraction, guess what? No matter what is on the bottom, your answer will be 0. Because 0 divided by any number makes 0. That's right. If I have nothing, okay, and I try to give it to, well, let's take a look. How many people would this be? You have 4 minus a negative 3. Negative times negative makes positive, right? Put two negatives together. So if you change this to positive, it's four plus three. Well, that would be seven. If I have nothing and I try to give it to seven people, what are they going to get? They're going to get nothing. So here, what kind of slope do we have, guys? You have what kind of slope? You have a zero slope. Now that doesn't mean that it, slope doesn't exist. It just means that the line is, what kind of line is this? side to side or horizontal. And if you connect these points, you see that there is no slope. But the question is, what Y coordinate does it go through on the Y axis? It goes through, remember? It goes through two. So your equation for this horizontal line is Y equals two. Let's take a look at two other points and try and find their slope. So remember, how do you find slope? You say slope, slope, change in y at the top, change in x bottom. Very good. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and graph the points just so you can see what the slope should look like. So we have 2, 3, okay? So we are at positive 2. We are up. How many do we go up? We go up one, two, three. That's right. So there's two, three right there. That was the first coordinate point. So that's x one, y one. What about the second coordinate point? Two, negative five. So we're going to start at two. Are we going to go up, down, up five, or down five? We're going to go down five. So we say negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. So we're here. We're at two down five. Now, you already know if you connect these points, what kind of line are you going to have? What kind of slope will you have? Remember? No slope. Right? You're not going to have a slope. But let's show you why there is no slope, or why we call this undefined. Okay? Because you hear that term a lot, undefined. So here's your second coordinate point, and now we're going to find the, whoop, now we're going to find the slope. So we say slope, slope. Change in y at the top. Let's take a look at our y coordinates. Okay. So take a look at your y coordinates. They're different, right? You have 3 and a negative 5. Well, what about your x coordinates? They're both 2. Okay. So when your x's are the same, that means you're going to have no slope. Okay. So let's subtract y2 minus y1. So you have negative 5 minus positive 3 divided by, now, this is what I was talking about, your x coordinates, they're the same, right? x2 is 2, and x1 is, what is it? It's 2. So this is going to be 2 minus 2. 
Now, whenever you have at the bottom of your fraction, because what does 2 take away 2? It is 0. You can never divide by 0. What did I say? You can. Good. Okay. The reason why you can't divide by 0, just in case you are, like, dying to know, I will tell you. I want you to think about this. Okay. I want you to think about it like this. Well, what is 2 times 3? Okay. Well, 2 times 3 is 6. Now, multiplication and division, they're opposite. So when you go this way, it's multiplication, okay, when you go from left to right. Let's say now you're going to go from right to left. What is 6 divided by 3? What is it? You're still going to get this number, right? It's 2. Now, let's take the same example and use 0. Watch. Everybody, what is 3 times 0, my friends? Any number times 0 makes 0. But that's multiplication. That's from left to right. Where is it? From left to right. If you try and go backwards with division, you will see that this is not true. Because 0 divided by 0 can never be 3. Okay? And that's why you cannot divide by 0. That's why when you try and divide by 0, you get no slope. Or we call this also undefined slope. It doesn't really matter what's on top. Even if you knew that negative 5 minus 3, same signs, add and keep. What is negative 5 minus 3? What is it? Heaven? Yeah, it's negative 8. That's what I thought. See, even if negative 8's on the top and you try and divide by 0, you get no slope. What do you get? No slope. And you can see that when you graph and connect the points. Now, although it has no slope, it does have an equation. Which axis does it go through? The x-axis. So we call this equation x equals what is the x-intercept? Goes through x, 2. Okay, and that's how to solve equations with undefined slope or no slope, no slope, or zero slope.